Hey friends, a very good morning to all of you. Myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's quickly begin today's class. I hope all of you are aware of this live schedule for Arya Sabir Nabad as well as our mobile application. So here we are going to begin with the first question. Which island nation has requested India to export a number of gores, uh, which are also known as Indian bison, to revive the population of gavaras in that nation? So here, guys, Sri Lanka is the right answer. Okay. So recently we have seen uh, one intercontinental tra transportation of the animals, that is of cheetah. Okay, so that was for the first time in the world that the mammals were shifted. The cheetahs were shifted from one continent to another, from Namibia to India. And this could perhaps be the second, uh, uh, you can say, transportation of this animal, this mammal from India to a foreign country. Okay, so now this is gorse. ये है इंडियन बाइसन आई होप आप लोगों को इनसे मिलके बहुत खुशी हुई होगी एंड इन्हें भी खुशी हुई होगी आपसे मिलके चलिए लेट्स डिस्कस द न्यूज सो राइट नाउ इट इज जस्ट इन द स्टेजेस ऑफ प्रपोजल श्रीलंकन गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रपोज्ड द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट टू एक्सपोर्ट दिस एनिमल इनटू द आइलैंड nation because this animal has become extinct at the end of 17th century so in order to revive the population of this animal uh, this request has been made now if this project is cleared it would be the first such agreement between india and sri lanka and it would be a part of the global trend of wild life and zoological diplomacy okay so there is probably no area left as far as diplomacy is concerned be it your defense diplomacy that is already going on at various parts of the world by attaching the defense or uh, you can say defense military expert with the embassies okay then we have the cyber diplomacy then we have the political diplomacy which has been there for ages and now we have the wildlife diplomacy as well Question number two is 38th meeting of the Con Council of the Regional Anti-Terrorist Structure of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization was organized by India in its capacity as the chair of SCO Rats in New Delhi. The member states also agreed to organize a joint border operation with the forces called uh, Solid Solidarity 2023. Where will the exercise be conducted? So here, guys, the exercise will be conducted in China. So 38th meeting of this council was organized in New Delhi. So here, three key points are important. First is the addition of this uh, council of the regional anti-terrorist structure of the SCO. Second is the place, New Delhi. And third is that India was the president of this meeting and this grouping for 2022 now in this meeting only india has handed over the uh, chairmanship of this committee to kazakhstan okay so that is another important point that can become a question so in uh, kazakhstan the next seo rats summit will be organized now understand this point and listen to me very carefully seo rats ki jo presidency hai, that has been given to kazakhstan but seo the Shanghai Cooperation Organization's presidency is handed over to India. Up 2023, mein, India is going to organize the SEO summit. Hai, so as India has taken over the uh, presidency of SEO from Uzbekistan for 2023. So the next question is, where was the National Conference of Power and Renewable Energy Ministers of State and UTs organized? So here, guys, such type of nat national conferences are being organized by the center at various places for various departments of the government, okay? So here, you do not have to go into the depth of the discussions that took place during the conferences. What you need to focus on is the place and the addition of the conference. So the place is Udaipur. So Udaipur is related. I hope you must have heard about this uh, place being called as the city of lakes. But did you know this fact that this place was settled or ye keh sakte ki is place ko basaya tha Uday Singh ji tu ne jo ki papa hai aapke Maharana Patap ke thik hai to ek bahut interesting fact tha Udaipur se related I hope you have enjoyed it now this is your Udaipur and as far as the Indo-Pakistan border is concerned so there are four districts in Rajasthan along which uh, the border of India and Pakistan runs okay so first is your this Ganganagar uh, this one then we have this Bikaner then we have Jaisalmer and this one is 
your Mahatma district. So these are the four districts along with uh, your India-Pakistan border runs. Then we have question number four, which Northeast state has launched the chief minister's health insurance scheme in October 2022 with Oriental Insurance Company Limited as its insurance partner. So here Nagaland guys is the right answer. Now here this information has been put here simply for the reason that I wanted to confuse you all. Okay. So these, these kinds of information are important for all of you to remember because directly I could have made a question on the insurance partner also. So here pay attention to the minute details as well. Now the CM of Nagaland, which is nephew uh, uh, Rio, has launched the first of its kind, Chief Minister's Health Insurance Scheme. And this is basically the uh, health insurance scheme for the poor people along the lines of your Ayushman Bharat scheme. Okay, so Ayushman Bharat scheme is already there in the state. Now the Chief Minister Health Scheme uh, has also been launched. Health Insurance Scheme has also been launched in order to expand the insurance coverage uh, in the state. And Oriental Insurance Company Limited is going to be the insurance partner of the government in this initiative. What is the global average score in the Global Hunger Index 2022? So here guys, the right answer is 18.2. So Concern Worldwide and Wealth Hunger Health uh, these two organizations released the Global Hunger Index and for the last years onwards, you can say that this index is not positioning India at a very good rank. This year also, India has been ranked at the 107th position out of 121 countries, okay? And you would be more surprised to know that many of the African nations are also ahead of us and the uh, nations in the South Asian region are also ahead of us. So that is the uh, dilemma that you can say or the irony of the situation that at present we have launched the uh, you can say largest program for providing the food free food to the poor people that is your Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan, uh, Kalyan package under which 80 crore people are provided free food grains and despite that India is positioned at 107th rank. So let's discuss this index in detail 121 countries are there in total now, as far as the global average score is concerned, so 18.2 is the global average score, which you can clearly see has been downwards, uh, has been decreasing from 2000 onwards, okay? So this is the downward trend which this global average score is showing, which means that the global, uh, the hunger levels at the entire globe, okay, they have been reducing. Now, here we have the parameters. First is the undernourishment, then we have child uh, stunting, child wasting, child mortality. And when we sum up all these parameters, we have the GHI score, Global Hunger Index score. And this is, guys, your risk scale. Okay, so if any country is put in the dark green color, then it is purely safe. It is safe from hunger. If it is put in the moderately green, uh, green area, then it means that it is uh, surviving this threat of hunger at a moderate level, at, uh, at least better than majority of the countries. Then if it is in this light orange color, then the threat is serious and India has been positioned in this category. Then if it is in dark orange, alarming, and then red, it means extremely alarming. So here guys, 17 countries in total have scored less than five and that is why these countries have been put into the top category, okay? So these 17 countries are important. Okay, now you don't have to remember all these 17 countries, of course, just the number would suffice that 17, these 17 countries have scored less than five and uh, they are put into the top category. Then we have bottom rankers. First is India at 107 ranking and then we have 121 pay Yemen. Okay, so this is the situation of India. Now, score is very important. 29.1 is India's global hunger index score, which can directly be asked from you. And as far as India's score is concerned, so I would recommend all of you to remember these four scores, okay? Uh, they are tracing the journey from 2000 to 2022, okay? Uh, 2022. So here, global hunger index is over. Now we are on the question number six. What is the theme of International Day of Rural Women 2022? So here, guys, 
rural women key for a world free from hunger and poverty is the theme october 15 is the date on which we celebrate this day now in india we celebrate this day as the mahila kisan divas and iske liye humne ek special theme bhi set ki hai theek hai aur the theme is millets empowering women and providing nutritional security so that is the theme of india for the mahila kisan divas and the specific focus has been put on the millets okay the 2023 is your international year of millets now guys now we are talking about millets let me tell you that indian institute of millet research is located in hyderabad and this institute is a very premier institute as far as the millet research is concerned okay whenever we talk about the millets you need to remember the institute as well indian institute of millet research in hyderabad okay so one more development took place that is the launching of this book evidence based gender equality in agriculture and food systems in india this book was also released on this same day so here we were talking about the millets so this is the uh, list of the millets of india that are grown in india okay so you can clearly have a look at this list and uh, know which millet is known as what in hindi language okay when is the world students day celebrated so it is celebrated on october 15 the birth anniversary of apj abdul kalam so in order to recognize his both anniversary and his contributions towards the field of science and uh, everything this day has been categorized as the world students day by un itself okay so this is the very uh, i would say very motivational quote of apj abdul kalam which inspires me personally very uh, much so the quote says if four things are followed having a great aim acquiring knowledge hard work and perseverance then anything can be achieved okay so you all should try to inculcate this quote in your practical life as well now we are talking about the missile man of india he is such a great personality so it's a uh, very important for all, all of us to talk two to three facts regarding him so wings of fire is the autobiography of uh, apj abdul kalam rameshwaram in tamil nadu is the birthplace of his and as you would all know that he is the uh, teacher till the last breath so he died at iim shillong so he suffered uh, the heart attack in the iim shillong and then he was taken to the hospital and in shillong hospital he died so shillong is the death place of abj abdul kalam anna university was the university <laughs> where he taught as a professor before accepting the presidency of india so these were some of the facts regarding apj abdul kalam which you might encounter in any examination like his autobiography the name of his autobiography question number 8 is which country has won the prestigious world green city award 2022 in the category living green for economic recovery and inclusive growth so here india is the right answer now the entire country has not won this award it is a particular city which has got this award and that city is hyderabad Okay, one speciality of Hyderabad I have already told you that is it uh, has the Indian Institute of Millet Research. Now it is also the world tree city along with Mumbai. Okay, this year do remember that fact as well. Now Hyderabad has won the prestigious World Green City Award 2022 in the category of Living Green for Economic Recovery and Inclusive Growth. Now this award was given at the International Association of Horticulture Producers. Uh, award function which is named as world green cities awards which was organized in south korea so here guys these are the other categories in which the these countries have got the award now again these countries have not received the award the award has been given to a particular city in these countries but uh, as far as this award is concerned in my opinion remembering the country as well as their category would suffice your preparation otherwise aapka syllabus bahut bad jayega aur aap inhi tarike ki cheezon mein ulajh jayenge so itni zarurat nahi hai yaad karne ki mere hisab se sirf category aur unki city unki country yaad karna important hai as far as it is concerned about india then we need to remember that it is hyderabad okay where will india's first uh, ever dietary supplements testing facility be set up so it will be set up at ahmedabad gujarat now guys the basic purpose of setting up this facility is to test the uh, 
uh, food materials and supplements which the athletes take in order to curb the doping. I hope all of you are aware of this fact uh, that India is third as far as the doping is concerned. Okay, Russia is at the first position, then we have Italy and India is holding the third position as far as the doping is concerned. Doping, I hope all of you know that the athletes use certain substances like drugs in order to increase endorphin and sub, uh, other substances, other chemicals in their body so that they can perform better in the sport. Okay, so it is a form of cheating. So in order to prevent that, this facility has been set up. And here, uh, guys, we have Montreal. Now, uh, World Anti-Doping Agency has its headquarters in Montreal. Apart from the World Anti-Doping Agency, we have the International Air Transport Association and International Civil Aviation Organization. All these three important organizations have their headquarters in Montreal. So the last question of the day is, India won the Women's Asia Cup in cricket by defeating Sri Lanka in the final match in Silihet, um, Bangladesh by an advantage of dash wickets. So how many wickets has India taken to defeat Sri Lanka? So it is eight. Sometimes such questions are asked, especially in your NABAD and SEBI examination. So you need to prepare yourself for such questions also. So here guys, this video ends. I hope you have enjoyed the content provided by me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.